hi everyone. I hope uh, everybody is doing well. Uh, thanks for attending our bootcamp info session. Today, I'm going to talk about the world of cybersecurity and Dr. Ermak uh, will talk about Magnumind Academy's cybersecurity bootcamp. Uh, if you are ready, shall we get started? Okay, perfect. Firstly, I would like to introduce myself again. Uh, I'm Hassan. I'm a cybersecurity consultant, penetration tester. Uh, I have diverse security assessment experiences. I was one of the instructors in Magnemind Academy's cybersecurity bootcamp in the first batch. Uh, yeah, we had a great six weeks module of cyber attacks. We did a lot of crazy things, hack the machines and practice lots of cyber attacks methods. Uh, I wish you were there, yeah. Okay, here's the outline of uh, my presentation. Um, I'm going to talk about uh, what is cybersecurity, um, why is cybersecurity so important nowadays, career opportunities in cybersecurity, statistics about cyber attacks, cyber defense, and uh, the cybersecurity employment gap. Uh, in this case, what are we offering as Magnumind Academy and our cybersecurity bootcamp plan by uh, Dr. Ermak? Okay, so let's talk about what cybersecurity means in basic with simple terms. Cybersecurity is all about keeping our computers, phones, um, electronic devices, and data safe from digital attacks. These attacks can be things like stealing information, causing damage, or accessing things uh, without permission. As technology gets more advanced and plays a bigger role in our lives, cybersecurity becomes more and more crucial to protect ourselves and our information. Why is cybersecurity so important nowadays? Uh, it's because cyber attacks are becoming more frequent, sophisticated, and damaging. Cyber attacks can result in uh, data theft, financial loss, reputation damage, uh, legal liability, and even physical harm. Cybersecurity is crucial to protect businesses, governments, critical infrastructures, and also individuals from cyber threats. Yes, cybersecurity is indeed an important field. So what job opportunities does it offer us? There are plenty of career options in cybersecurity, such as um, cybersecurity analyst, security operation center SOC analyst, information security analyst. These are some of the main analyst roles. Um, other roles include security consultant, penetration tester, which is what I currently do, uh, incident responder, cybersecurity engineer, threat intelligence analyst, forensic analyst, and there are many more job roles available. The best part is that these career, uh, these these all careers are in high demand, and the need for cybersecurity professionals is expected to keep growing in the future. I'll talk more about this in just a minute, just a moment. Yeah. Okay. Here are some statistics about cyber attacks. Uh, I gave them in our previous info sessions. I think it should be mentioned again. Uh, to emphasize the importance of cybersecurity. Global cyber attacks increased by 38% in 2022 when we compared it to 2021. Um, two top three most attacked industries were education, re education research, uh, government, uh, military, and healthcare in 2022. 82% uh, of all breaches involved the human element. Human element is also considered as the weakest link of, the, of this chain. The use of uh, stolen credentials, phishing, social engineering, misuse of systems, or a basic human error. For this reason, think as simply as you can. Everyone needs to have at least cyber awareness training to protect themselves from cyber attackers. The statistics are terrifying, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, what about the defense side? 
the average time to identify and contain a data breach was 277 days in 2022. It means that the companies and organizations are aware of the data breach after almost 300, 300 days, almost a year. 83% of organizations had more than one data breach in 2022. So it means that hackers targeted the organizations more than once. The organizations can be targeted continuously. The global average cost of a data breach was 3.6 million pounds, approximately 4.3 million US dollar in 2022. When there is a data breach, when sensitive information is accessed without permission, 60% of the time, companies raise their product or service prices. This means that not only businesses suffer from cyber attacks, uh, but also us uh, customers. The reason behind this price increase is that companies need to spend uh, more money on improving their cybersecurity and they pass on this cost to us, their customers. So we can't just ignore the cyber attacks and say, I don't care because in the end, it directly affects our wallets when companies raise the prices of their products or services to cover their cybersecurity expenses. After looking at our previous slides, uh, it is clear that there is a battle ongoing between cyber attackers and defenders. Yes, there is definitely a combat happening in the cybersecurity world. To make this combat effective, we need more people working in cybersecurity. However, the statistics show uh, that there is a huge gap in the number of available cybersecurity professionals. Currently, there are about 4.7 million cybersecurity professionals, uh, which is the highest number ever recorded. But despite this, there is still a shortage of 3.4 million workers in the cybersecurity field, as reported in the 2022. This gap in the workforce persists, even though more than uh, 400,000 new cybersecurity positions were added in 2022. Because, because of this demand for skilled professionals, salaries in the cybersecurity job market have risen significantly. For example, in 2022, some cybersecurity salaries increased by more than 16%, reaching well over six figures in the US job market. So we are talked about some important things. Now, let me tell you what Magnemind Academy is offering. Uh, in today's digital world, there is a big demand for skilled IT professionals, especially in cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is essential to protect against online threats and attacks. To help people succeed in this fast changing field, we have made a cybersecurity bootcamp. It's a special training program that covers all the important topics you need to know. If you're interested, the next session, second batch of the bootcamp starts on September 4th. To get more details about the cybersecurity bootcamp, please visit the Magnemite Academy's website and please follow the rest of the presentation. At this point, Dr. Dr. Mac will continue to the presentation. I would like to thank you all uh, for listening to my part. I'll be still here if Dr. Mac needs me. Thank you so much. Yes, sure, I will need you, Mr. Tepepolo. So let me share my screen. And then let's start presentation is it clear for all of you yes Dr. Yeah. Uh, if if possible if you could open your camera maybe it's going to um sorry sorry um, just a second thank you just a second yeah. is it okay right now yeah perfect okay thank you perfect. and here's the question uh, will i be able to increase your curiosity Definitely. I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm going to increase your curiosity, at least regarding the boot camp to be provided by Magnumite Academy. But uh, before starting with the academic curriculum, this boring details, let's start with Magnumite because uh, it attracts, it allures more curiosity. 
I guess. So, Megamind um, is a Silicon Valley company, and Megamind Academy is a sister company of this uh, company. And it basically implements its main tasks in artificial intelligence in data science, plus provides some uh, well planned, well designed um, courses and regular meetups. The aim actually to deliver these courses and meetups is to transfer the knowledge to the sector. So it's quite to the point and well-oriented company. In that sense, uh, you are the right place today. And um, if you have a look at the programs basically provided by Magnemind Academy, the first one is Full Stack Data Science. The Magnemind Academy actually started with this um, data science uh, bootcamp and then uh, added data science internship as a second product. And during the last nine months period, Magnemind Academy introduced cybersecurity bootcamp. And actually, we have a long list of academic staff working for Magnemind Academy. I just included uh, a short and simple uh, snapshot of our academicians, uh, our experts working in the industry. And as Mr. Sokakolo mentions our bootcamp will start on 4th of September. And then now it is turn to share the details of our bootcamp. Um, actually, we have a kind of model, modular structure and we have four different, very well-designed modules. The first one is IT fundamentals. The second one, network. The third one, cyber attacks. Cyber attacks basically means ethical hacking and pen testing activities. And the last one is the uh, cybersecurity, which means security operations in short. And uh, we are going to talk about all of these issues in different modules during the 20, 24 weeks of bootcamp program. And let's have a look at our first module, but before starting the module st uh, structure, let's have a look at other details. Uh, actually, we prepared this modular uh, structure uh, by using the Comtia, Comtia's material. And Comtia is one of the best companies in the world, um, especially uh, providing service, providing trainings and certificates during the last 40 years. Maybe my academy is a partner company of uh, Comtia. And Compia certificates is one of the best certificates in the marketplace. If you're a starter, a starter of cybersecurity position in the market, then you should benefit uh, from the options provided by Compia. At least uh, you should have one Compia uh, certified uh, document to enter the sector. And that's why we take this into account and we use the contents and uh, the books of Comtia. And during our bootcamp, uh, we are going to use Comtia IT Fundamentals Plus, Network Plus, Pentest Plus, and Secret Plus books. Uh, all of our students uh, are going to have access to uh, all of these books, and they will have their own, uh, their personal accounts to reach their own books, their digital books. And now the contents of the first module. And during the first module, uh, which is IT fundamentals, we are going to talk about computer components. So which means if you don't have any information about the computers or the IT information technologies, then it's still it's the right place to start um, this position, cybersecurity analyst position. Uh, being a part, being a student of this bootcamp, because we are going to all these things uh, make actually clear to all of our students, starting from the basics. So it will be the uh, foundation of uh, this bootcamp. And then we will be talking about 
uh, Windows operating systems, uh, especially Windows 10. And then we will be talking about Windows Server, Active Directory, Identity and Access Management and Policies. These are really, uh, at first uh, glance, these are really boring stuff. And these are all about Windows environment, but uh, we are going to make it uh, as much as actually make it fun for all of our students. And then we will be talking about uh, Linux fundamentals, and especially we will be using Kali Linux uh, during our bootcamp, especially in the third module, which is cyber attacks. And uh, as a part of this first module, uh, we will be creating our home lab, uh, which means every student will have a kind of home lab uh, in their uh, desktop or laptop environments. Uh, this is really crucial uh, and to successfully uh, follow our uh, instructions and to successfully complete the hands-on exercises to be provided to students during the bootcamp. And let's have a look at our second module, uh, which is network. Uh, during these modules, uh, we are going to share the details of network, how the computers transfer information, transfer data between the point A and between point B. And during this module, we are going to share some uh, basic knowledge as well uh, as a part of this network concepts. And we will be talking about network technologies and tools. And we are going to cover OSI layers and network security. And as a handle, hands on experience, we will be using some uh, firewall solutions, uh, which is uh, Fortinet Sportigates. And uh, we will increase our knowledge regarding network security by using some other basic tools such as Wireshark and Cisco Packet Tracer. And we will be using these tools uh, in order to make some package analysis. And when it comes to third model, uh, I would like to share the um, platform with uh, Mr. Chocacolo uh, as a pen tester. Uh, he's the, maybe among us the only person who can uh, actually easily uh, give the details and he's going to talk about this module. Okay, thank you, Dr. Ermak. Yeah, in the cyber attacks module, we delve into the fascinating world of cyber attacks. Uh, we explore the entire process known as the kill chain, which outlines how cyber attacks are executed from uh, start to finish. This module provides valuable insights into how these attacks are performed and sheds light on their level of sophistication. We will cover various aspects, including the methods attackers use to gain unauthorized access, the different stages uh, of their attack strategies, and the techniques they employ to stay undetected from basic to highly sophisticated approach we will explore the full spectrum of cyber attacks furthermore we will investigate real world examples and case studies to illustrate the impact of cyber attacks and understand how they affect individuals um, organizations and even nations. Armed with this knowledge, you will be better equipped to defend against cyber threats and protect yourself uh, and others in this ever evolving digital landscape. Yeah, you can see some of the tools, well known tools here in this picture. And also, there is a uh, logo of a platform, TriHikMe. We will talk about them later yeah, in this presentation. Okay, thank you, Dr. Ermak. And when it comes to the uh, lab environment, uh, would you going to? Yes. Details? Okay. okay, perfect. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, vulnerability analysis and white hat pen test tasks. Uh, as you can see here, we will simulate this. We will simulate this during our bootcamp. There are two sides. Uh, one is the offensive side, attackers. Other side is vulnerable and victim side. Uh, in the offensive side, we will use some pen test tools, as you can see uh, here. Some of them are in this picture. Also, Kali Linux is a well-known pen test operating system. Uh, we will learn it and use it to attack attack to the vulnerable side. Uh, in the vulnerable side, some intentionally created vulnerable servers, machines you will find, some Linux and Windows servers, some vulnerable web applications, websites will be in place on this side. So basically we are going to create attacks with use of left to right side. We have a ready to use environment for this purpose. And also we are going to use try hack me a lot. Uh, I will explain try hack me uh, later here. Okay, thank you. And then when it comes to the last module, the most important part of this bootcamp, uh, cybersecurity. Um, as we did in previous modules, we are going to start with some basic notions. In this case, cybersecurity basic notions on the basis of CompTIA material, CompTIA Security Plus. Uh, because at the end of this uh, bootcamp, our expectation from our students to pass CompTIA Security Plus exam. So in the beginning of this module, theoretically, we will be sharing this basic notions of cybersecurity in line with CompTIA Security Plus. And then we will be talking about architecture and design, which means uh, in enterprise environments, what kind of secure architecture and what kind of secure designs you need. We will, we will be talking about it. And then uh, we are going to start with vulnerability management and um, as a hands uh, on part of this uh, theoretical uh, notion, we will be using Tenable, Tenable IO. And uh, in endpoint detection and response parts, we will be using Microsoft Defender for endpoints uh, in cloud security part, we will be using Microsoft Azure. And these are quite important tools, uh, largely preferred uh, uh, in current uh, enterprise environment. When it comes to security information and event management, uh, in general, in the markets, in the enterprise environment, they call this part as SOC. SOC operations, security operations center operations. And in this part, we will be uh, using IBM Curator uh, to analyze logs and to detect uh, logs and to write some rules, to create alerts, to follow all the uh, log flow uh, in an enterprise environment. In the last part of this module, uh, we will be sharing uh, some basics of information security. And basically, we will be talking about data governance, uh, risk analysis, and compliance issues. Uh, this part will be a little bit theoretical, and there won't be any hands on uh, part this uh, last part. And These are the main notions actually uh, up to now I shared with you, but uh, when we need a kind of network topology, then uh, we can uh, focus on this chart. Uh, as in the cyber attacks module, uh, we, will, uh, we will be following a kind of law in this cybersecurity module. Uh, in this case, uh, we will be creating our own vulnerabilities in lab environments or in our home labs by using some uh, tools such as Atomic Red Team Framework. Uh, these will create some cyber attacks and we will be monitoring these attacks in our EDRs 
to Microsoft Defender. And finally, we will be um, conducting some analysis uh, of these attacks in our CM tool, IBM QRadar. And if these events turn into a kind of cyber attack or cyber incidents, then we will be informing the related uh, parts, the related stuff regarding this cyber instance response. And uh, we will be using ticketing system to report these findings. And uh, I hope this part, uh, this, this theoretical uh, presentation somewhat concrete for you, but uh, I'm sure you will have some questions regarding this flaws. And uh, please uh, ask these questions to us in the end of our presentation, uh, because we could, uh, we could be especially uh, fast phasing in this uh, presentation. Uh, it's quite, uh, it's quite uh, really uh, well, uh, actually detailed presentation. It includes many details. So please ask some questions if we have in the end. So let's have a look at our weekly plan. And uh, in our weekly plan, we will be having three days lesson on Mondays, on Tuesdays, and on Thursdays. And we will have two, two days free on Wednesdays and on Sundays. On Fridays, uh, generally, we, we reserve this day as a fourth day. And uh, generally, we are using this uh, Fridays uh, in order to complete our theoretical uh, presentations to conduct some hands-on exercises. So it's still a part of uh, this um, working day plan. And uh, starting from the 15th week of our bootcamp, uh, we will be talking about this coaching issue. And uh, in total, this bootcamp uh, will last 24 weeks. And if we concentrate on the time zones, uh, in the US, PSD, we will be starting this bootcamp on this uh, weekdays, on lesson days, 11 a.m. in the morning. In UK, um, at 7 p.m. In Europe, uh, at 8 p.m. And in Turkey, at 9 p.m. And every day, uh, we will have four different lessons. And each lesson will take almost 45 minutes. And we will have in total 30 minutes break. Uh, our instructors uh, with our uh, distinguished students will decide the time of this uh, breaks during our uh, boot camp. And we will be using a learning management system. It will be a kind of Wikipedia of, of our boot camp and you will have access to learning management system. Each student will have their personal accounts and they will be access, accessing all the course material here, especially after the lessons. Once the lesson delivered, they will have access to the video and the presentations of that lesson. And as you can see, uh, we have different sections here belonging to our uh, modules. And plus, we have a career coaching and CompiaSec Plus. Uh, this part is a special design for exam preparation. So all of our students uh, will have access to this learning management system. Actually, it's quite common. Uh, it's not a kind of novelty, I know. But still, uh, it's a good practice. And uh, actually, uh, we will be taking benefit from this learning management system in short. And this part is especially important, continuous interaction. Uh, without interaction uh, in any sphere of life, as you can imagine, there is no success. Uh, and it is the same rule in our case. Uh, as a part of our bootcamp, we adopt this philosophy, continuous interaction. And Discord, in that sense, is a good tool 
And around the clock, we will have access to all the students, all the instructors, all the related stuff. And uh, you will have some uh, special chat rooms. You will have access to your uh, classmates. You will have some special meetings during the bit, uh, boot camps, especially as a part of group studies. So it will be quite functional for us, for our students as well. And it will increase the interaction during the boot camp. And it will be very useful in that sense. But for sad learners, uh, it may not work because many people generally follow their own strategy. Uh, they don't participate in the classes. They generally watch the videos uh, after the day, but we don't actually recommend this way. Generally, this is the only way to increase the success in such kind of boot camps uh, as our boot camp. And hands-on exercises. Um, I would like to share the word with uh, Mr. Chokakolu uh, once more time. And he will uh, make a good summary of these parts. Mr. Chokakolu. Yeah, thank you very much, Dr. Ermak. Um, yeah, during the Magnemite Academy Bootcamp, uh, as Dr. Ermak mentioned, our instructors will teach you how to create a home lab environment. This will give you a chance to gain practical hands-on experience uh, in cybersecurity. At Magnemite Academy, we provide you with a fantastic cyber lab environment uh, for free. We use TryHackMe. We used it a lot during our first batch, uh, especially in the cyber attacks module. Uh, students loved it. Uh, TryHackMe a platform that offers vulnerable systems for you to test your knowledge and skills. It is a safe and legal way to practice your both cyber attack and defense techniques. Uh, you see, it's essential to avoid performing real cyber attacks on actual systems or servers without permission, as that would be considered cyber crime. Uh, attacking someone else's computer or company server without consent is illegal. To ensure you can test your learnings and new skills without breaking any laws, uh, TryHackMe provides you with vulnerable machines, servers, and applications to practice on legally. It is one of the best platforms for hands-on experience, uh, especially for beginner, beginners. Uh, we will provide you with premium access to TryHackMe during the bootcamp so you can make the most of uh, this valuable learning opportunity. By the way, the number of users of TryHackMe reached over 2 million users. Uh, and you will find lots of chance to practice your learnings and skills. And it has many uh, learning paths, uh, both for offensive side and for defensive side, right? Especially for follow. Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, in both way functional. Uh, generally, many people take this TryHackMe platform as only for pen testers or for ethical hackers. And during the last two years, uh, TryHackMe is investing in blue teams in defensive side. So uh, it will be quite functional uh, in that sense for both uh, ways in short. Yeah. And uh, let's uh, have a look at other advantages of using TryHackMe as a part of such kind of uh, cybersecurity training. Uh, after completion of uh, each learning path, uh, you will be granted a kind of certificate. Uh, I know uh, simply uh, it doesn't mean anything to companies to enterprises in the market, 
but still it's a kind of indicator of uh, actually that you spend enough time for the completion of this specific learning path. And if we focus on the latest job positions, job offers on LinkedIn, especially, uh, we started to see uh, some specific words, as you can see here, hack the bus, try hack the experience, CTF platforms, again, hack the bus, track me, and we can add also let's defend IO. And uh, it started to be important for many companies and uh, maybe they before two years, two years ago, they didn't have any information about these platforms, but professionally, they also started to use Trihekmi. Uh, Trihekmi has also some business solutions as well. And after the completion of each room, um, currently, as far as I know, Trihekmi has almost 600 rooms, 600 different rooms and you can spend two years uh, Mr. Chocacol or three years to complete these rooms is it enough I don't think so <laughs> so it really takes time so it is not that easy it is not that easy after the completion of each uh, room uh, you will have a kind of uh, <clears throat> rating rating among the users of TrackMe platform. And uh, as a part of your LinkedIn uh, profile, you will be using these ratings. I am in the first quartile of TrackMe users. I am in the second quartile or third person or fourth person of TrackMe users. So it will increase actually the awareness of uh, the hiring managers and recruiters because they started to concentrate on these parts and uh, it will have a certain effect on uh, this group of people uh, when you uh, join into the uh, job search market in coming months. So it will be quite functional using TriHackMe, be active in TriHackMe platform. will bring a lot at the end of this bootcamp. And Let's have a look at this group study. <clears throat> it's a kind of uh, general method used in many um, boot camps. And we adopted the same approach because peer-to-peer uh, -peer, uh, training or learning uh, will increase success uh, without any hesitation. There are many studies. And uh, I can not give a reference to one of these studies right now, but uh, I have uh, read a lot about this. Uh, without uh, being a part of group study, you cannot increase uh, your knowledge, your experience uh, during these kind of boot camps. Uh, especially, it will turn into a kind of skill at the end of this uh, boot camp. Why? Because in many job positions, you will be concentrating on some soft skills, which is being a team member, being a good team player. So uh, as a part of these group studies, you will have this skill. And if you join, let's say, 100 group studies during the boot camp, so you will have this skill. And you will be talking about this during your interview, job interview. In these group studies, uh, there won't be any instruction. Uh, you will be uh, given some, uh, okay, some guidelines. You will be given some tasks and by yourself and as a team, as a team, uh, you are going to complete these tasks. And at the end of each task, you will be writing some reports and it will be quite functional in our case in this bootcamp. And module assessments. After each uh, module, uh, we will be giving you a kind of assessments, especially uh, after the first and second modules, uh, we will give you some 
uh, assessments, which uh, include some questions regarding the uh, theoretical aspects, regarding the, some technical aspects of that module. But when it comes to cyber attacks, you will be given a kind of CTF, capture the flag activity. And uh, as a team, uh, actually you will, you will try to capture the flag uh, during the test and it will be really um, enjoyable uh, in my opinion. And you will have a lot of experience during this CTF. When it comes to cybersecurity module, uh, you will be completing some capstone projects, especially uh, this capstone project uh, will be a part of your CM, uh, SIEM uh, parts. Uh, you will be writing some uh, use cases, some specific roles to catch the cyber attacks, catch cyber instances uh, during your inquiry of logs coming from different sources. So in your interviews, you will be using this capstone projects, your CTF experience. Uh, this will be quite beneficial uh, for your professional development during bootcamp. Otherwise, it is very difficult to have some experience, especially if you don't have any other uh, IT background as a part of your CV, uh, you will have this problem. But during our uh, bootcamp, at least you will have these skills and you will add these skills uh, as a part of your CV, and these are these will be your guns to actually to hunt the hiring managers, the recruiters, the related HR staff. And as a part of our uh, instruction, uh, as I mentioned, uh, we will be using this uh, book. Uh, actually, I mentioned about this, but uh, these will all uh, free membership, and uh, you are not going to pay anything for this uh, CompTIA membership. Uh, this membership is also important. You will have a kind of uh, certification exam, uh, as I mentioned in the beginning of this presentation, CompTIA Security Plus. You will have a kind of experience by using this CompTIA uh, account because using your CompTIA accounts, you are, uh, you are going to uh, make an appointment for the exam. Uh, I know it's a kind of minor uh, experience, but still uh, quite important. When it comes to making an appointment, uh, a lot of people are making some searches on Google. How can I make an appointment for CompTIA SIG plus exam or CompTIA network plus exam? So it will be still a kind of um, minor experience. But uh, mainly, as a major experience, uh, you will have uh, access to CompTIA resources. Uh, and uh, it's a kind of uh, Wikipedia of cybersecurity. And you will see it, uh, especially when you first open your account uh, at CompTIA. And certification exam preparation parts. This part will be, uh, it is not a, it is not a, a module. Uh, it's a kind of supplementary uh, study. We are going to share some questions with, uh, with you uh, during this preparation uh, period, and it will take only one, one week, uh, not more than that. And as a partner of CompTIA, uh, we will be giving you some discounted exam vouchers. Uh, so you will take benefit of this uh, discounted exam voucher as well. Uh, if you have a focus on the right side on COSRA's uh, chart regarding the cybersecurity certifications in the world. Uh, CompTIA Security Plus in the third uh, rank, as you can see. So it's quite uh, valuable certificates. Uh, when you have the certificate as a part of your profile, uh, all profile trackers will catch you. So you will be a good candidate for the position we applied for. And coaching. It's, uh, coaching will be also 
a supplementary uh, study parts. It will be in the meeting uh, form. Uh, there won't be any instruction, but uh, we will enjoy during our meetings uh, as a part of this coaching. And we will be uh, preparing our resumes together. Our, uh, we are going to create our LinkedIn profiles together. And we will look for some solutions for networking because uh, without networking, it is really difficult to find a job in the marketplace. Uh, when it comes to cybersecurity, uh, we, we will be uh, building a new career during our this 24 weeks uh, experience uh, with Make the Mind Academy. And we will conduct some mock interviews. Uh, interviewers uh, will be our instructors uh, who are still working in the markets. Uh, they are going to share their own interview experiences and uh, it, it will be almost a real interview. Uh, we name it here mock interview, but it will be almost a real interview. And we are going to help you uh, during your job search as a part of this coaching uh, session, let's say. And during our bootcamp, uh, we are going to point out I especially underlined this word. We are going to point out these positions because our main concentration will be for this SOC analyst and threat hunting instance response parts. But still, uh, after the completion of this four module structure, uh, you will have some basic for some positions, some basic experience. But uh, for some uh, positions, you will have a sound uh, experience. And uh, network security, we are going to cover this. Offensive security, vulnerability analysis, identity and access management, EDR in short, vulnerability management, cloud security, SAC analyst, threat hunter, and instance response team member, and Information security officer, in short, we name it. And when it comes to pre-requirements, uh, actually we don't require you a lot. These are all about some uh, basic techn technological expectations from you. And the first, I, the first point, uh, mainly focusing on the laptops and PCs, uh, technological capacity, uh, our requirements from you to have uh, at least 16 gigabytes RAM and uh, minimum i5 processors if we are using uh, Windows computers. Uh, but if you don't, you will need a Windows running computer. Uh, otherwise, you are going. You you may have some problems during the uh, bootcamp. Uh, Windows. Computer is a must, uh, unfortunately. Uh, you have to invest some uh, money uh, into these Windows uh, computers. Active participation is quite important. Otherwise, we can reach uh, our targets. Uh, we cannot realize our uh, cybersecurity dreams. Uh, I mentioned uh, about this, this uh, interaction part without Participation, unfortunately, students uh, don't have any opportunity to have interactive uh, experience. And interaction is quite uh, important. Rather than watching the videos uh, after the lesson day, just spare some time and join the lesson uh, on time and uh, be an active participant and ask questions and uh, be the blondie of the class and ask the uh, the most unimportant questions, trivials, and uh, use your voice during the classes. And we will have some house rules, and I will be sharing this house rules uh, as a part of our uh, Discord, uh, Discord page, Discord announcement page. Uh, so, thank you. Thank you for your patience. <laughs>
Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Mark. Thank you, Mr. Chokakolu, for this uh, actually a very informative, wonderful presentation. I really enjoyed listening to the presentation. I, I, I watched the first one too. Uh, I still learned a lot during this presentation, even though this will be the second time for me. So the so there are some uh, so there is one comment from Bashir. Bashir is saying that the voice uh, quality is he's concerned about the voice quality. So uh, I know that some of our instructors will be joining from uh, from Europe, uh, UK. Some of them will be joining from the United States. I am located in San Jose now. Uh, I think during the presentation I didn't have any problems with with voice quality, but it might happen. So it, if it is it's an online environment. I don't know if uh, uh, during the first uh, batch, Dr. Mark, uh, Mr. Chokakolo, if we had any uh, any problems with uh, uh, with Zoom or online classes. So there might be some ups and downs because of the internet connection. But I mean, at least today, I didn't have too much of a problem. I yeah, very minimal audio challenges. Uh, Sunjara is uh, Sankara. I'm sorry for mispronouncing your name if I did. So yeah, I think today there, there was uh, there might be some some of our some of the participants might have some some uh, problems with the voice quality. I didn't have any, uh, by the way. So uh, there was one question about prerequisites. Is it required to have any software engineering background? Uh, I think you answered this question. So, but I'm, I'm still asking one more time. Is there any requirement of a good knowledge of software or hardware to to join this program? That is not our expectation. We are going to start from scratch, but it is not a requirement. Okay, thank you. Now I'm just going to ask very, really, really quick questions to yeah. wrap up and then summarize. When is the program starting? It will start on 4th of September. 4th of September. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, all the courses will be online? Yes. Okay. And we don't have, uh, at this stage, we don't have any face to face classroom environments. And we don't have that option. Currently, we have only online sessions. So, so what kind of uh, tools or platforms are we going to use? Am I going to pay for them? Am I going to be uh, uh, joining them freely as part of the program? There won't be any any payment. The only payment will be made for this um, CompiaSec Plus exam. But still, uh, we will be sharing this discounted exam vouchers. So most probably uh, they are going to pay only half half price of the exam, nothing more than that. So, but uh, they should uh, invest some money in their computers, especially a Windows computer uh, requirements. Yes. So there is a question about the cost of the bootcamp. I'm gonna come to that. Okay. Uh, so so you you told that we are going to be using uh, Try Hack Me platform. Again, we are going to get subscribed to Try Hack Me platform as part of the program. Once yes. the program is over, uh, am I going to continue with my membership to the platform? So if I pay my own money to continue with my subscription, is all the uh, uh, information on my account still will be coming with me after, even after I'm done with the bootcamp? Yeah, there will be no loss, actually. We are going to provide six months membership, but uh, after the end of the six month period, there won't be any problems till they will have their access to the platform, but they're not going to use the rooms, but uh, still uh, sparing some little money, 10 pounds a month, uh, $10 a month. So they can, they will have some basic level access to the uh, tracking sources room. Are there going to be any hands-on activities other than try hack me as part of the program? Uh, sure. Okay. All right. Uh, so, uh, so let's talk about the cost of the program. Uh, let me iterate what I know already. I think the cost of the program is already mentioned on the on the website. So the program is consisting of four modules. Each module costs twenty five hundred dollars. If you want to, if anyone wants to join a module uh, independent of any other modules, so you can join any module if you like. But we don't recommend that. So it's gonna be costing twenty five hundred. But if you join all the modules all together, there is a bundling price for that. As far as I know, it is $7,500. So $7,500 is the cost of the four modules if you pay upfront uh, altogether. If you want to make a, a deferred payment plan, uh, which is going to cost $10,000, uh, I suggest uh, you, you guys talk with MegaMind people to arrange what kind of a payment plan 
uh, they can offer. Again, the deferred payment, uh, the tuition with deferred payment plan is going to cost ten thousand uh, dollars. But but the details of that, please talk with Magnemind people and then learn how you can arrange a payment plan. Uh, so any other questions from anyone in the audience uh, about the program? So the program is going to last 24 weeks, right? So there was one question right. about duration. Okay, thank you. So any any questions? Uh, let, let me see if I can see any anything missing. No. Okay. So uh, thank you very much, uh, everyone, for joining today and uh, listening to the to the present. Oh, there is a there is a. So do you help with the do you help with the job uh, placement? Bashir, Mr. Bashir is asking. Placement is not that easy, as you can imagine, but at least uh, we are going to build that uh, way, right? This, we are going to take you to that interview stage. And then depending on your soft skills and your technical skills, uh, you are going to complete the other side of the path by yourself. So it is not that easy for such kind of job placement in cybersecurity world. So it's quite similar to in, in other uh, disciplines as well, right? So it is not that guarantee. So as far as I understood, you're going to prepare for the tests, uh, for the interviews, uh, help arrange uh, or improve the resumes, uh, LinkedIn profile, but you're not going to hold the hand and then take to a company and then here is your... Uh, so nobody can guarantee, uh, right? So, but still by providing uh, industrial experts uh, experience as a part of instruction. So it will be uh, an invaluable assets for all the students. They will be sharing this uh, during their interviews. So if they spare uh, quite, uh, quite, a long time, well, let's say, during this 24 weeks period, then uh, they will be guaranteeing uh, this job uh, placement by themselves. But otherwise, uh, no guarantee. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So any other questions uh, before we uh, close today? I think the time is already up. Uh, okay, so thank you so much, uh, Dr. Mark, Mr. Shokogolo, for this uh, wonderful presentation. Uh, uh, everyone uh, listening to this presentation, thank you. So we recorded this uh, uh, session, uh, might be available at our YouTube channel later. And we are going to have uh, other YouTube, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, meetup sessions coming. Uh, please uh, just, just follow us. Thank you. Bye. Uh, they, they can also send some emails if, if, yeah. if they have any questions regarding the bootcamp so we are open quite open thank you thank you yeah. we also thank you all the participants bye yeah thank you very much